it was indeed a moment of reflection and confusion for residents of Ewekoro and its environs as the police paraded murder suspect who claims to be a clergyman. The suspect, Oluwatobi Loba Ikpense, a 42-year-old secondary school teacher and a spiritual head of Holy Garden Evangelical Christian Church of God in the Wekoro area of Ogun State, give details of how the dastardly act was carried out. They said that they wanted to take me into an occultive uh, covenant. And they said that they are going to collect a ransom. So they collected the names of my members and picked the woman that she would be the one they are going to take. And having taken her, having mentioned her, they asked, of, they asked from me where she was living. And I told them that she's living at Wasemi. So on the 21st, around, on 21st of March, around uh, 10, 11, 10, 10 to 11, some of, one of them came. PM. One of them came to knock at my, my door, at my residence, saying that some people are waiting for me in the church. So on getting there, I saw Mr. Shukweju and the woman with another seven occultic members that I cannot identify. Those ones were putting on black and red rope with uh, seven calabash with them. So Mr. Shukweju, I was asking him, why did, uh, how did he get here? Because I did not see the vehicle. I also saw the woman. I gave I gave their names uh, the names to. I saw the woman with them. She was tight and her face was covered with a red cloth. So on that very day, I was asking Mr. Shukweju why how he got how he got there. Then he told me that Untia Bafinje Kwabe Willowa because they did not bring vehicle to my house. And he was on the same at his church. He was uh, at the spirit month that night. So he started that one on the 20th of March through 20, through 26th, something like that, 26th. So it was on Wednesday evening, around 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. that I saw them. And Mr. Shukweju removed the knife with him and cut off the woman's head. And before he cut off the woman's head, he put the blood of the woman in the seven calabashes the seven people were holding. And I was asking him that, you did not tell me that you are going to kill this woman. No. He said that that is the, uh, the way they are going to do it, that they cannot tell me everything that they are going to do at that very place. Later, after he has already collected the blood, he removed the woman's head completely and the hands. At that time, I was shaking and I could not hold it anymore. When they saw it on me, they said I should go back to my room. I should go inside. I also asked them that, you are cutting off the woman's head. What do you want to use the woman's head and the hands for? They said that there are other members that must partake in the in what they have cut, that they need to share it. And the woman that was with him was holding a big calabash painted white. So it was in that white calabash they put the head and the hands of the woman. So, telling the woman to hold it very well, that it must not touch the ground. I told them that how are they going to do the body, they said that I should go my way. That I have already completed one stage of what they asked me to do. And when I returned back to my room, I came back in the early morning to the church. I did not see the trace of anything or anywhere was docked. So it was on Sunday morning that I saw a place that was cracked inside the church room. So on getting there, I removed the chove and I removed the uh, the sand at that very place because because I was suspicious that something was there as the something the ground swelled up on that day. So as I removed the sand, I saw the woman with the white uh, they used to cover her there because it was already time to service. I covered it back and I went to the back of the truck and dug more. Uh, more ground on the corpse. So I was pondering over it that how am I going to do it? How am I going to do it? Until when it was Wednesday, I came, I was at the church. When I returned from the school, that was when I saw the police that came to arrest me. And when they arrested me, I denied at first, but later when they got to my site, they discovered the woman's corpse and I revealed everything to them. An accomplice 
Daniel Shokweju, the spiritual head of Obauni Majemu Celestial Church in Ianoigbado, who allegedly cut off the head and hands of the deceased, however denied his involvement in the crime. The Commissioner of Police, Ogun State Command, CP Ahmed Iliasu, while briefing newsmen, described it as the height of wickedness. This is the height of wickedness that, that can be meted out to fellow human beings. It will interest you to know that the victim was a secret lover to the pastor who eventually hacked her to death. It has been the resolve of this command, that is this police command, to ensure that perpetrators of this type of heinous crime will never go unpunished. And we have been consistent in doing that. Forensic investigation into the case has commenced and the case will eventually be charged to court. The culprit would be dealt with accordingly. I hereby appeal to good people of Ogun State to always be watchful of those they associate with and always disclose their movements to at least one person close to them, no matter how confidential the movement is. The deceased, 35-year-old Rally at Sonny, until our untimely death, was an hairdresser and a divorced mother of five.